Megan can't deny. William sends evidence to police accusing Meg of harming Kate over a car accident. Meghan Markle's hatred and jealousy for Kate Middleton pushed her into her Netflix show. Meghan Markle's hatred and jealousy for Kate Middleton has been laid bare by a royal commentator who says that the Sussex Netflix show, Harry and Meghan, stems from Meghan's dislike for Kate. Talking on Megyn Kelly's Sirius XM show, British royal commentators Sophie Corcoran and Leilani Dowding slammed the Duchess of Sussex for wanting control and for overstepping play for sympathy in her Netflix show. Corcoran, in her scathing takedown of Harry and Meghan, pulled all the stops in her criticism, saying what Meghan really wanted was control because she is a master manipulator. She wanted to be able to manipulate. She explained, she couldn't manipulate the press in the UK. That's why she was angry. She couldn't force people to write the stories she wanted them to write, so therefore she left, so she could write the stories in her own perspective. Corcoran added, this entire documentary has stemmed from a hatred and a jealousy of Kate. That's the reason this entire thing exists and the entire problem with the royal family and Harry and Meghan exist. Meghan can't stand Kate because Kate is beautiful. She's elegant. She's going to be queen and she's the center of attention. Meghan will never be the center of attention. Recently, there have been rumors that Meghan is always plotting to harm Kate. According to royal staff and CCTV footage near Buckingham Palace, Meghan plotted to arrange a car crash targeting Kate. Meghan is said to want to conspire to take her place in the royal family. After learning the truth, William is very angry and is sending these evidences to the court to unmask Meghan. Rumors of a growing rift between the two soon began to plague the royal family. Before she tied the knot with Prince Harry in May 2018, the suit alum got some expert pointers from her soon-to-be sister-in-law. A source told Us Weekly at the time that Kate told Meghan that if she ever needed anything, she shouldn't hesitate to get in touch, even if it's just to get a crash course on her new collection of aids. The Princes of Wales welcomed the California native as a breath of fresh air, and the positive feelings were mutual. Meghan really admires how Kate has carved out her own space when it comes to humanitarian work alongside being an amazing mother. Though they often put on a united front with their royal spouses, it didn't take long for whispers of competition between the two women to spread. Reports of a heated interaction before Meghan and Harry's wedding emerged in 2018, claiming that the TIG founder left Kate in tears over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress. Nearly three years later, Meghan addressed the alleged incident. The reverse of that happened, she said in her first major televised interview with Harry since their step down. A few days before the wedding, she was upset about flower girl dresses and it made me cry. It really hurt my feelings. People devoted its cover story to Kate Middleton and got rare insight into how Kate feels about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's estrangement from the royal family. She's anything but thrilled about it. For context, Meghan and Harry stepped back from their senior royal roles in January 2020. Their comments to Oprah in March of 2021 about their experience, the racism they experienced, and disregard for mental health from the firm made global headlines.